it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about kind of a reflection of my goals from 2019, booktube related, books related, channel related, and then also my channel goals as well as my book goals for 2020. make a video in 2019 talking about my goals but I know I definitely talked about in certain videos about some of my goals for 2019. A lot of them I did not fulfill <laughs> which is okay. Some of them I was close but first off is the Goodreads challenge. So in 2019 I set my challenge to 60 and I went over that so I did complete that. It's not as much as other years at all but I'm very st I'm still happy with it because there was just this year was a lot for me. <laughs> this year was just a huge learning experience and just in terms of like going to uni, turning 18, like uh, doing some adult stuff, so like learning how to do stuff on my own, living on my own, uh, a lot of stuff like that. So it's been a big year. <laughs> uh, getting out of high school, stuff like that. A big year for stuff like that, so I am still happy with the completing my Goodreads goal. The goal that I did not complete was to hit 20k. I set it at the end of last year and I didn't set it like per like two. I wasn't strict about it but I was like it'd be cool to get to 20k and I'm at 19.2 so I'm very I was very close but I didn't hit quite hit that mark yet. I don't think it'll happen in 15 days so probably did not complete that one but I'm still very happy with how my channel's grown. My channel has been inconsistent a little bit this year. Um, my, one of my goals probably from last year was also to upload more and that's always a goal is just to upload more consistently and upload more content for you guys. In terms of quantity I didn't upload that much and especially recently with uni and I've talked about that in previous videos so there's no worries about that. In terms of quantity it's not that much and this year, like other years, I've uploaded way, 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 way more. This year, in terms of quantity, again, didn't really fulfill that. In terms of quality, I think some of my favorite videos that I've done have been this year. So I've done some really fun videos that I'm really happy with. I've done some cool collabs that I'm happy with. And I just feel really great about the st the videos that I have been putting up, I feel good about and they've been well received and stuff like that so I feel good about that. Also looking back on the year I've been doing videos about more more things than just books and more things that I care about so I've been talking about tarot and I've been talking about my crystal stuff and I've been talking about movies and tv shows and fun stuff so you guys have seen some different content on my channel and some of you guys really like it and I'm hoping to also do more um journaling videos in the new year because I always mean to do them and like I do journals just I never film it so I'm hoping in the new year that's one of my goals is to show you guys more kind of journaling and productivity stuff and that because I freaking love that stuff and it also is super motivating to watch because I love watching like planning videos or like even cleaning videos but there will always be book stuff on this channel so no need to worry about that. My goals for 2020, feels really weird saying that, is 50 books. I'm just gonna set it as that. I always set it at 50 and if I hit 50 I set it to 100. It's what I do every year. So except last year because I didn't, I, I hit 60 and I just left it. <laughs> Which is 2019, not last year. It's not the new year yet, okay. <laughs> I'm going to set my Goodreads challenge to 50 books for the year of 2020. We'll see how that goes. I do count graphic novels and manga and things like that. I am starting to count textbooks because I've read a lot of textbooks with uni. We're gonna start counting them. <laughs> like if they're on Goodreads, I'm counting them. <laughs> with that, I am hoping to hit 25k. I just think that's a cool number. I'd be really cool if I hit that number. I don't have to, but I just feel like that's a good goals to set for myself in terms of like number counts just to update my social media a bit more so I want to be more active on YouTube and on commenting on other people's videos too because I've been totally slacking with that in the past few months with uni I just don't like the last time I watched a video has been a while since I've just sat down and watched a booktube video it's been a bit so I want to get back into that and like get back to like supporting I want to support my friends more too on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. I want to update my social media more. I want to be more I want to be more involved in the community for sure. Um, I am interested in hosting a different readathon. I don't know if I'll create one or if someone will ask me to help host. Another one of my goals is just to make more content that I'm proud of. Last year I think it was a really good year for me in terms of just the quality of stuff. I just really liked what I posted and it was well received and things like that so I'm hoping to continue that trend in 2020. I want to get more into, more into vlogging in the new year because I used to love it and I think it's also an amazing thing to look back on. Also my vlogs are the one thing that people constantly ask for other than Stephen King videos which I will probably make some eventually. I just need to read them. I don't know. I feel really weird filming. I haven't filmed in the setup in a while and it's just like I'm just thinking but this is like a really video that doesn't have much 
of an outline to it but I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about like my 2019 and how that kind of went for me in terms of reading and channel and stuff and how 2020 I want to go so I want to be more involved I want to get to 50 books I want to hit 25k like these are all things I would like to do and then I'm going to strive towards yes yeah, so those are my goals for the new year in terms of my channel where things are going and all of that stuff I am going to be doing a channel feedback survey like I did last year so in the description box please click the link you'll see a survey and it's just going to be a lot of multiple choice about what you like on my channel, what you like seeing, what you want to see in the new year, what videos you really appreciate, stuff like that, and also ways I can make improvements. That's all going to be in the description box for you guys if you would like to fill that out. Last year I had a great time with it and a lot of people filled it out and it was super great to see um, and hear everybody's feedback because some people just don't comment. They just don't comment and they don't like or they don't like some people just a little more silent viewers, which is okay, but you just want to hear, sometimes I just want to hear your guys' opinions and stuff. So this is like a really good way I found last year to do that and to, for more of you guys to kind of give your thoughts. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys have had a good year in terms of books and well in general, but in terms of reading and channels and all that stuff, let me know how you did down below. If you fulfilled any of your goals for the year, any goals for next year or any specific books you want to read next year. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye.